Welcome to the channel. I've decided to go ahead and make a tutorial on how we made our church bulletin in Canva. So there were several people that reached out to me after we designed this thing and asked how we did it. So I'm going to go through all the steps and the process it took. The first thing you want to do when you go to canva.com, I am used to Photoshop. So I'm used to starting from a blank canvas and starting from scratch. So I always, for most of my things on Canva, I start with a custom size. For a bulletin, since you'll be printing it, you'll want to do it in inches. So you'll want to do this one, since we're doing a half page bifold, you'll do it 11 inches by eight and a half inches. It'll open up a new template, a blank canvas, and we can go from there. I went ahead and named it, that way I can access it quicker after it's all said and done. I went ahead and dragged a guide to the center to mark my half page. It did snap and lock in place. That way it made it easier. I dragged some guides around all four of the sides, put it around 0 0.013 on all four sides. because our printer does not print all the way to the edge, of course, and so I wanna leave a little margin, a white margin. Next up, what you wanna do, I like using the grids. You go over to the elements, tap on grids. I'll be using the two panel grid. Resize that. Let it snap to the edge of the right and leave about the same distance between the left line and the right line, your guides. Go ahead and take the spacing of the grid down to zero. Then I'm going to go back over towards the elements and I'm going to search for a black box. Pull up in the graphics, from the graphics, just drag that black box into the lower portion of the grids and it should just snap in place. Then I'm gonna search for a white box, drag it over to the top portion and let it snap in place. Now, I'm actually going to use this as my background of the images that I'll create. So I'm going to duplicate this and for a lot of this, I just use shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. So for the Mac, I'll just press Command D to duplicate or Command C to copy and Command V to paste. On a PC, it would be Control instead of Command for those keys. So I copy it, then I go search in elements for a graphic, drag it over to the top. Let it go. You can double click it and arrange it however you want to arrange it. I'm going to edit my image and bring down the saturation to negative 100. Then I'm going to go up to uh, the little three dots and I'm going to bring the transparency down to 50. Search for another graphic or just see all under church and drag something else in there. Let's see, praying hands here. Drag that in there. Edit the image. Again, you can double click and rearrange the size while it's still locked to that grid. I'm gonna edit the image and bring the saturation down to negative 100 again. If you'll notice, the transparency is still at 50 because both of these grids are tied together. Let's drag it over here so you can see the back is white and black because I just duplicated it and placed it on top. One of the greatest things about this is Later on, if you want to change out these images, you could just drag and drop them and it maintains all these settings that you just did. I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to drag it over and put it right across the line dividing these two grids. I'm going to change the color. You can change it to anything you want. Blue, pink, purple, doesn't matter. With us, for the first week, of course, I'll change this color out and the pictures out every week for our bulletin to give it variety. 
Let's go with this little color here. We put our church name right there on the front. You can select all of that and go up to the font controls there. You could change the size. You can change the color with the A there. Just go pick white from the palette, and that's where you can put your church name. So that is the front portion of the bulletin so far. Next, I'm going to just go add a text. What we did is one of our church mottos is a church that cares. Just type in a church that, see, so just drag this around a little bit, center up that cross in the background, just for aesthetics. Now I'm going to copy that box, paste it down here, and I'm just going to put cares in its own box because I'm going to put a box behind it. So I'll just copy this box again. You can press Command D to copy or Command C to copy and Command V to paste. I'm going to change this box to black. I'm going to drag it up behind cares after I bring down some of the transparency. There we go. Send backward. That's one thing they do not have in Canva that Photoshop has, and that's a visual layers palette. Maybe one day they will. Let me resize this a little bit. Well, let me just center them. So you go up to the little three dots, press position, and press center, and it centered both of those objects because I had selected both of them at the same time. It centered both of them together. I'm going to go ahead and group them and then drag it over so that it lines up with a church that, and then we've got a church that cares. I'm just going to select both of them and group them again, right click, group, and they are together so that when I drag them around, shift them around, they stay together as one group. I'm going to copy and paste this box again here. This is where we will put our service times. For our bulletin, I had our Sunday service times in one box, and then I had our midweek service in another box. Let's go ahead and change the font to black, downsize it a little bit, resize this box. I'm just going to give it a black line and take out the fill. So I'm going to go up here and take out the pink and just make it no fill. Go to the border weight. Let's type in two here and press enter. It gives it a size two border around it. And there we go. I don't want this all caps. Three dots. Oh, I typed it in caps locked. Here we go. Let me retype this. <clears throat> Service times here. And again, you can pause all this if you need to catch up. I'm going to put our church website and address down here. Yourchurch.com. Go up here to the font and change the color to white. I don't want that bold. Let's bring it down to 20. There's a space after your, there we go, yourchurch.com. That's where you could put your church. Here's where you could put your address. I'll resize this because it won't fit in just a second. Put our phone number in here. <laughs> I'll put a space there after that line. There we go. That looks good. 
So that is actually the front of the bulletin. Let me show you how you can you can click and drag and replace those images pretty quickly. Again, you could search for anything. You could put your own images in there. Just drag and drop images from your computer over here to where these photos are and they can be added into your design. It's so simple to change out the images once you have them because you are using grids. Let's go to the back. Here we go. Let's copy and paste this box. Move it over here. I'm going to invert this so that the black is behind and let's see this resize the text font here. Let's make a notes section here. We're going to put a black box here, fill it with black and take out the line. There we go. Change the font color of notes to white. Then we're going to add lines for notes. And I'll show you, it's very simple to do. Just go up to the search over in Elements and search for line, add that shape there. Drag it up, we want to pull it out to the same size there. Let's change the weight to, see, maybe one. Yeah, that looks good. We will copy and paste this. Again, you can press Command-D or Control-D. But press Command-D on the Mac, and it will duplicate it. Or Command-C to copy and Command-V to paste. Here we go. Let's copy and paste here. Let's just do about 10 of these here. I'm just continually pasting the same one over and over again. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the last one that I do down to about where I want it to end. Then I'm going to drag a box around all of these so that they're all selected. Go up to position, center them so that they're all justified together. Let's see, line them back up again. Then watch this, go up, position, tidy up, and they are automatically spaced evenly away from each other. Pretty neat little feature. I'll group these so that I don't accidentally move them. And then you have your note section. Let's copy this, paste this, put it down here. What we did, we created a section for connect, basically for our socials. And then we made a section for our text messaging where we send out text alerts for um, prayer requests. We send out text alerts for different things happening in the church and people can get updates that way. So let's go to elements and let's start searching for our icons. Just type in Twitter. Uh, make sure you're under all. Then just click on it, resize it, put it over there. Another great thing about Canva is how everything just lines up. Here we go. Let's just grab Facebook over there. Again, looking at all your pink rulers and guides, it shows you that you're sizing things similar to another object on the paper. Instagram, let's add this one. There we go. Then we added, I think we added website. And we added our YouTube, drag that in there. Get rid of the website one because we have the website on the front, don't wanna Don't want to overkill there. 
That's what we did here. Again, those beautiful dots and lines showing you the spacing is the same, that you're lining up to another object on your document. Let's go to the front, just copy and paste this font here, this text box. Here we go. Let's resize that to maybe 12. Just put your church handle there. Let's align it to the left. And let's copy and paste that to the rest of these socials here. Copy both of these, drag them over. And let's drag a box here so that we can move these out of the way. It looks like these handles are a little further away than the others. Let's scoot them over. Ah, the beautiful pink dotted line showing you they are lined up similar. Let's resize this so it'll fit inside the connect section that I just made. There we go. Now I'm going to copy this box that I put on the front and paste it to the back. Just resize this. I'm going to put it underneath connect. This will be the box where I ask for a Google review. So let's make this box blue. Click on that, go up, change the color. Let's just pick one of the blues from the palette here. Again, if your blues and your colors do not match my palette, you can go ahead and add your own color. Let's go down to QR code. If you can't find the QR code, go to apps, search Canva apps for QR code, click on that and it will open it up. You want to generate a QR code there. Type in the URL. If you are the administrator for your Google location for your business, you can actually copy and paste that there and it will generate a QR code for you. Just resize that, center it up here in the box. There we go. I'm gonna go up to Elements and search for Google Review. Let's see if I can find a five-star graphic here. Let's see if I can find the one I used for ours. Let me see here real quick. No. You can get anything you want. Canva is filled with graphics and templates and resources all at your disposal. Uh, let's just go back up and grab one from the top. Insert these five stars here. Resize them how I want them. If you can't see your resize, you can always zoom in. Let me copy and paste this text here. Change the font to white. Make it bold. Why I love my church. I see a lot of churches do that. I see a lot of businesses do it just in general. Everybody wants good reviews. Here we go. Let's just place some text in here. Let us know how our church has been a blessing to you by leaving us a review. So let's go back and pick a grid. Again, I use grids instead of frames. When you resize a frame, it maintains proportions, but grids do not. So that's why I use grids. So I've got a grid there. I can search for cell phone and go to one of the photos here. Just drag and drop it in there. And let's see, let's go up, click on it, go up to the transparency, fade it out. There we go. And let's go to QR code. 
you can go to a free QR code website and actually have it direct people to a text message, and that's what we did. So when they scan that QR code, it actually creates and generates a text message that they can send to our text messaging provider for our church, and then it signs them up for the messaging. Let's copy and paste this text here. Sign up to receive text messages from our church by texting blah, blah. And then that box is done. Let's copy and paste, create another box down here. Again, clear that out, change that. That gap's too big, so let me delete this other box. Then copy and paste this one so they're the same size. Perfect. Again, looking at all the guides so that I know where it's lining up. Copy and paste this. This down here at the bottom is where we put our photo and video disclaimer. So that is the front of our bifold bulletin. Zoom out a little here. Let's go ahead and add a page. It maintains the same guides as the other page. And here we go. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this from the front resize it. We're going to keep the same gap at the top that we did on the other side. Just put a little welcome text here with a date. And that's something that will change every week as well. and copy the notes, paste it over here. Resize that just a little bit. Again, let's just change the text to black, change the box to transparent, then give it a line of two points around the border. And then let's go ahead and name this guest. There we go. Now we'll start arranging the inside. Here we go. Go to elements. Let's go ahead and get our grid again. Clear that. You can go it should be under recently used because it's something you just used recently. Or you can go back down here to grids. Let's go ahead and click on that and resize it. Let's see if we can find like a welcome visitor photo or something similar. Again, for our bulletin, we use a lot of our own photos for things like this. But again, you can utilize the tools at your disposal. Just drag and drop, it automatically fills, double click, and you can resize it and arrange it how you want for that grid. Let's see, I want to zoom in a little bit more here. And click off of that. There we go. Gonna copy some font here that I've already typed up. Let's paste it. Resize that. I had to zoom in so that I could see the sides of it. 
Put a little welcoming there. Next up, we did the same thing. We copied and pasted. This will be, let's see, let's just go ahead and put here Ministry of the Week. Let's save this to the homeless, so let's drag a photo in there. Put a little verbiage there for people to reach out. Copy and paste the header and put it down here. This is where we put our giving report. Let's go ahead and search our elements for a table. Again, go back to all. There's the tables. Just click it and it will appear. Now to move it around, you actually need to grab the little plus symbol, there we go, with the arrows on it. Again, just drag it, there we go, resize that. It's not letting me resize it any smaller top to bottom, which means there's a padding inside of it. So I need to go up and take out the cell spacing to zero. That will allow me to drag the lines smaller. Start at the top, just keep going. Then just grab that and resize it. Drag it to the left, let it click, let it lock. Click the little three dots here. I'm going to delete this column. I don't need it. I only need two columns for the giving. Let's see here. So let's just Fill this with some content. Add a row, add a row. There we go. All right, next I want to change the size of the border. Here we go. Let's bring it down to like two. Notice how it only changed one. It's because that's what I had selected. So I click in this box and then press Command A or Control A. I've now selected all of them. See the purple border around it. So I'll go up to the table settings here and change it to 0.2 for the border weight. Press Enter and all of it changed accordingly. Let's put some monetary values in here. Make up some figures. Let's say that we missed our budget on missions, so let's put that in red and put it in brackets. Let's add everything together, put it in total. That looks pretty good. I don't like how that's all run together, so let's just change all the missions, uh, the missions to a different color for the background. So let's se select those Go up and give it a background color. There we go. That breaks up the giving table just a little bit. Again, showing you the power of Canva. This allows you to have tables. Go ahead and copy and paste this text message box. And um, we're going to put it here for the giving because we allow people to give online through texting and QR code. Let's search for an offering plate. Drag and drop that photo to replace the cell phone. There we go. Again, if you need to resize, you double click it and you can resize it. Let's go to QR code and let's just put your giving. Again, this is where you can put your giving link. It would create a code. Resize that. Put it in there. Put 
Go ahead and put the verbiage in for your giving and how people can give. All right, let's head over to the next page. Let's do a copy paste of the guests. And this is where we put our upcoming events. So let's just say coming soon or coming up or however you want to say it. For this, I do the event title, the event date, the details, and then I put bold the event title and the event date. Let's see, let's make this a youth event. Let's just type in youth game. Uh, let's say we're going to play soccer. Let's resize that. Bring the soccer ball over. There we go. Looks pretty good. Let's do a copy paste of this event and make another event. That spacing looks pretty good. Let's make this event um, maybe a dinner on the ground or something like that. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. There we go. Let's copy and paste this next event. Let's search for mm, piano. Maybe we'll have some musical event or something. There we go. Copy and paste that. Notice again, it shows me that everything's lined up and everything's spaced out evenly. Here we go. Let's search for, let's say we're doing something for the children's ministries. Uh, let's find some puppets. Those guys look pretty cool. Let's add a line again. And I'm going to change the weight of this line, just like I did on the front. Click on the line, change the weight. Now it's at two. Let's do a copy paste of this so that I have a guide, or excuse me, so that I have a grid that I can have the photo. There we go. This is where we will put a quote, an inspirational quote. Get that line up a little. Let's go search for something nature related. Here we go. That looks that looks calming. Here we go. I actually don't like that. Uh, transparency, no. I'll fix it in just a minute. I'll do like I did on the front. We place inspirational quotes here. Center that up. Now, what I want to do, I want to copy and paste this because I'm going to actually, just like I did on the front, I'm going to add a black box. Uh, let's go to graphics. There we go. I'm going to drag that into the back one and change that opacity to 100 for the transparency there. Let's put this nature picture on top of that. Right click, send it backward behind the text. There we go. That looks a whole lot better, a lot cleaner. Yeah, much better. And that, my friend, is how we did our bulletin how we laid it out. How we export it, we go to share, we click download, change it from PNG and do it as PDF print. Then just click download and it will do it as a front and back PDF. See, once that's downloaded, take a look at that. Sometimes if you download a PDF, things aren't lined up properly. 
so you'll have to go back and check and make sure that everything is good to go. Let's go ahead and print this. This is how my print looks. I need to change it to landscape in my printing window. I'm going to print it short edge because our copier allows us to do double-sided printing. Um, it wants to scale it down to 96%. I don't want that. Let's scale it to 100% because I already added a border and that way it can fold and print properly. Let's go ahead and that's what we need to do. Then we click print and we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how we created a bifold bulletin for our church. If you want more content like this, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Hope you have a great day.